Uh, as far as my understanding goes, uh, Monsef didn't actually know herself until like this information came out. So her claiming that she was born in Afghanistan really doesn't make any difference to me. She's a Canadian, so like, I mean, is she lives here, this is where she calls home. She's very patriotic about living here. I thought it was a bit strange that a person wouldn't know where they were born. I would have thought it would come out through the vetting process more than anything else. I mean, you think they would go into details, you know, crossing all their T's. But that doesn't bother me in the sense that my, it's important that they or she uh, does a good job in her position with the government. Uh, the proof in the pudding will be how she performs uh, in this government. Are you putting a ducky on my face? Miriam and I went to high school together. I can see why she'd be upset about that, um, but I, like I said, I can definitely sympathize with her mom's reason for doing that. It, just such a difficult situation to be in, losing her husband, being in a war-torn country with three little children to protect, and just trying to get them into this a safe community as quickly as possible. After reading the story about how she was actually born in Iran and had to then flee that country and her mother trying to protect her, I just find it all much more interesting. I don't think it changes in any way the way that she would represent Peterborough or Canada. And I just find that I respect her. I think I respect her more for coming out now and being totally honest about what happened. I respect her mother for coming forward.